Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. I was surprised to know that Ernst Abbe actually organized Carl Zeiss as a foundation. The reason why he did this is he wanted to make sure as an organization we could continue pushing forward the social impact that Carl Zeiss wanted to have in the world. Today, social impact, uh, part of it is sustainability. As you can see, sustainability is part of what we do. Here we have some uh, uh, plugins for uh, any new energy vehicles, but it goes even deeper than that. We actually won an award here in Baden Wurttemberg for uh, sustainability, and we thought we'd bring in Andreas to tell us more about it. Let's go have a look. All right, so to explain to us a little bit about this award, uh, we brought in Andreas. Andreas, thanks for explaining the award. Nice to meet you. This award is about um, what we received from the state of uh, Baden-Württemberg. Okay. It's an uh, environmental uh, award. It's about uh, material efficiency. All right, all right. So there's a difference between the different... Uh, there has been several um, different awards, but um, we won in... Yeah, Ma material. material efficiency. Okay, uh, I'm going to be blatantly honest with you. What does material efficiency mean? I show you. This machine is retrofitted. Okay. So we use the old machine and make a complete retrofit. And that's how it looks like, like a brand new machine, right? Okay, okay, well, uh, what, what's the process? How does this? How this works? Yeah. In general, we remove everything from the machine. All covers removed, all cabling removed, controller removed, but we keep the very heavy granite, mm -hmm. the steel frame, the whole portal. So every bigger heavy part we keep. Okay, and why do we do that? Because building that mm -hmm. is producing a lot of CO2, a lot of emissions, because you have to transport the, the granite somewhere from the world yeah. and back yeah. to the world. Yeah. Sure, you have sure. to, to make this, this steel frame, which of course needs a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. You have to produce everything, and that is CO2 emission, or that means CO2 emission. Okay. And, and we're reducing that. And is that how we won, does that relate to how we won the award for? Exactly. That's exactly why we won this um, so-called in German Umwelttechnik uh, Award. Okay. Um, because we managed quite well to keep all this very emission-related um, um, parts. We keep them, we use them, and give it a second life. Okay. So it's based around the materials that we used and the reuse of that. Yeah. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me because it sounds like we're using the heavy components. I have an old muscle car back in Minneapolis mm -hmm. that I've been in the process of restoring, putting new electrical system, putting new brake system. So it sounds like what you're doing is basically just a huge overhaul of this machine, yeah? Quite similar what you're saying, restoring our old car, mm -hmm. but it's more than that. In this retrofit, okay. To say it in your words, in your car, we put a new engine in, we put a new gearbox in, and make the car faster and more efficient. Okay, so it's more than just... It's more than just a retrofit, let's say. So I can show you in detail what yeah, it doesn't yeah, mean. Yeah? So imagine this machine has looked way older, 20 years old, not so nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we removed the whole controller cabinet, mm -hmm. put a new one in, removed the cabling, put a new cabling in, the sensor head is new. The whole covers are new mm -hmm. with the new safety devices. Um, and so the machine looks like brand new, works like brand new, even it, it, uh, it costs you um, way less energy. Consumption is 50% down to the old one. And even the compressed air consumption is way lower. So initially we're saving CO2 because we're using the heavy components. Mm -hmm. And after the retrofit, it costs you less money to operate because we need less, less energy and less compressed air. And it drives faster, or measure <laughs> faster, yeah? like <laughs> you cool. with your car, yeah? Cool, so, okay, uh, let me try to repeat this back to you. So uh, we actually, uh, in the process of uh, reusing uh, core materials and getting all of the sustainability benefits of doing that, 
We actually, in the process of doing that, uh, make the machine more efficient than it was 20 years ago, uh, further reducing uh, our um, impact on the environment. And then another benefit is it performs way better than it did uh, even before. So every, everyone wins. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I guess I had no idea that um, behind the scenes all of this could do it. To me, this is just a brand new, awesome machine, but it's it's more than that. It was our aim, yeah, just that it looks like brand new, but it's 20 years old. In the core component, yeah. it's 20 years old. That's great. Uh, Andreas, thank you for uh, showing me, uh, telling me about the award and kind of showing me how it all happened. Appreciate it. Thank you also for your dedication to our uh, social commitment to uh, continuing what our founding fathers um, kind of put forth for us. Appreciate it. Thanks for your hard work. You're welcome. All right, we'll see you soon. See ya. And for you out there, don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy. See you next time.